So Cuphead is now available, and a lot of people are enjoying the game, myself included. I finally beat uh, the island number two today, so I'm ready to go into the last island. Uh, so hopefully I'll bring you a review here shortly, but in the meantime, we're talking about multiplayer. A lot of people were surprised that this game did not come with any functional multiplayer in it. Now, there is local co-op, so if you have a couch partner with you, you have somebody there uh, physically at your house, and you have a second controller, you know you can hook up and play local co-op on Cuphead, but there is no built-in feature for multiplayer, which again surprised a lot of people. Now, the developers have mentioned that they're looking at bringing in multiplayer at a later time. So hopefully that does get implemented because I think it's a must needed feature for this game. A lot of people want to play with their friends. A lot of people are having trouble, you know, with certain levels and a friend being able to jump on and help them out would I'm, I'm sure increase that experience and, and make it a lot more pleasant. But in the meantime, you can play co-op if you have a PC and NVIDIA. So I did mention the other day that I was playing co-op with one of my buddies on the PC and some people asked me, how is that possible? How are you doing that? And they wanted me to make a tutorial video, which I haven't made a tutorial video in quite a while. So let's get started. First thing, again, you're gonna need a PC and GeForce Experience. And if you have NVIDIA cards, you should already have GeForce installed. If you don't, go install it. Next, once you open up GeForce, you're going to go to your settings and you're gonna make sure that enable experimental features, that little box right there, is checked on. Uh, if it's not, you're gonna to have to turn it on. Now, when I first turned mine on, it said updating and it was in a constant loop. Uh, so I had a little bit of an issue. I just simply uninstalled GeForce, reinstalled it, and that seemed to fix my issue. Um, so after you got that turned on, then go down here to where it says in-game overlay. Make sure that is turned on. If you go to your settings, you're going to see that there's a new option there it's called Stream Experimental. If you click on that, you just want to make sure that Allow Friends to Join a Game and Play as a Guest is set to Yes. So that's what we want to do. So after you've got that far, as, as far as GeForce is concerned, you can go ahead and you can boot up your game. Because uh, the next step, you're going to want to be in game whenever you do it. Um, so once you start up your game, if you held the same controls that is default, you want to press Alt plus Z at the same time that brings in the GeForce Experience Overlay. Then you'll see that there's a stream option. You click on that. First go to Guest Controls. Make sure that it is set to Plays Alongside Me because I think the default is Watches Me Play or Play As Me. So you just make sure that that's set up for your friend. And then you can just click on Copy Invite URL. Now, you can't do it while your video is recording, so that's why it stopped me. Uh, but if I wasn't recording, it just saves it to the clipboard, where then you can paste the link to your friend if they're in Discord, which is what we were using, or or whatever program that you're using. You can also click on uh, Send an Invite, which will give you an option to email it to your friend if you want to do it that way. But most people, I think, are using Discord, so it's easy to send the link. Um, the person clicks the link, and it basically walks you through the process. Um, I believe you'll want to use Google Chrome. Uh, it'll install uh, a small extension and then you jump right in and you can play. Now, the player who joins you does have to be playing on a keyboard, which kind of sucks. Um, now, you can use a controller if you have one of those adapters that makes uh, you know your system think that your controller is your keyboard, so you can get around it that way. Uh, but for right now, uh, the person joining does, for the most part, have to play with the keyboard, which, which sort of sucks, but Zach was playing on the keyboard in this particular clip, and he actually did pretty damn good. And so I'm going to leave a link to his channel and thanks for him for uploading this clip of both of us playing after trying this out and getting co-op to work with PC and Nvidia. So for right now, until the devs work in multiplayer, that is how you play co-op in Cuphead. If it helped you out, hit that like button. That does it for me, Lee Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.